Good evening, I'm Doreen DeSavis from It Begins With Ink and Paper and welcome to Fun Fold Friday. I'm so happy that you're able to join me either live or um, live or um, on the replay. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to adjust my lights a little bit. I'm using a new light tonight and I just want to make sure we're getting enough light everywhere on the screen. It looks really lit up where I am, um, but I am seeing a little bit of a shadow on my computer. So we'll just go ahead and see how we do. Um, like I said, I purchased a new ring light to give me more light during my presentations, especially during the winter time. So as I said, welcome to Funfold Friday. And Please make sure you say hello, tell me where you're from in the comments, and um, I hope that you're joining me live. If not, then um, on the replay on Facebook, or it will also be posted to my YouTube channel. It begins with ink and paper. So tonight I'm making a gift card holder. This card I posted, I think it was earlier this week, and uh a follower asked if I could show how to make it. So it's a gift card holder. It opens up and the gift card slides in right over here. So this is what we'll be making tonight, but I'm not going to be using the Zany Zoo um, set. I am going to be using the new Magical Meadow stamp set and dies. And this is going to be available come September 6th in the new mini occasion catalog. So it is a cling stamp set. It has a great set of dies with it. So it has dies that will cut out all the stamped images. It has a um, little bit of snowflakes that you can emboss. This isn't a die to cut out. And then it has some other images that you can die cut. And I'm gonna be using the berries tonight. So let's set that aside. The card that we're gonna be, oh, and I'm also gonna be using the um, deckled edges, um, deckled rectangles dies. So the um, card we're gonna be making looks like this. It's using the beautiful new Winter Meadow designer series paper. It's so beautiful. And inside, here's where the gift card would go. Um, and this is what the card will look like. I am also using the Tensile um, Gems 3-pack that has... Oops, nope, this is the wrong one. Where did I put the other one? Sorry, this is the wrong one. All right, so I moved it. Let me see if I can find it real quick. If not, we just won't use the gems tonight. It was on my desk earlier, so I'll have to look for it. But um, I'm using the Tinsel Gems 4-pack, not the 3-pack. I grabbed the wrong ones. Okay, so let's get started and talk about what you're going to need. So I am using Misty Moonlight cardstock. It is a 5.5 by 8.5 piece of cardstock. I want to just remind you that you don't have to write any of this down. I will be sharing it with you in the comments, all of the dimensions and the um, scoring lines. So you are gonna score this at one and, one and one quarter inches and at four and a quarter inches. So that's it for scoring tonight for fold. You will also need a piece of basic white cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter, a piece of the designer series paper that measures four by five and a quarter, another piece of the designer series paper that measures one by five and a quarter. You're going to need a piece of Misty Moonlight that's three and a quarter by two and a half, and then some basic white scraps to cut these two deckled rectangles. And then finally, I am using, let me just make sure I got the name of this right, the Soft Shimmer 12 by 12 specialty paper. It comes in colors of Berry Burst, Bubble Gum, excuse me, Bubble Bath, Lost Lagoon, Night of Navy, and Pretty Peacock. And we are using some of the Berry Burst um, cards, um, color. Um, so it has a nice um, 
shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see that as I move it around in the light. And I've already done the die cuts. I left them in the paper because they're so tiny I didn't want to lose them. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to take this piece of designer series paper and we are going to trim a one quarter, one and one quarter inch piece off of it. I wait to do it after I have cut it because I want these edges to match up on the front of my card. You won't see it all, but you will see some of it. So let's just put the card together and we'll do the stamping at the end. So I'm just going to set that aside. So to start with, this piece of designer series paper is going to go right on the edge of the piece of basic white cardstock. So I am going to use my stamp and seal to do that. Nope, I did that's the wrong piece. Let me just put that here. This is the piece that's going to go right over here. Sorry about that, but the other piece is all set to go where it's going to go. Make sure we put the right piece where it goes. And I'm going to put it right over to the edge. There we go. So we have that piece done. That piece is what's going to go inside the card. Boy, in the Northeast, it has been a rainy, rainy week. My nephew and his wife and children were visiting for the week, and we did not do a lot of outside activities. That just was cut short. All right, so let me just fold this and crease it. And this piece here is also going to get folded, but it's, and it's going to get folded to the inside. I am going to add just a little bit of stamp and seal. You could also use the tear and tape, but this is just to hold our gift card. And this piece of the designer series paper is gonna go on the inside. There we go, and there's our pocket. Now this piece of designer series paper is gonna go on the front in that piece, that section that's left over. And you can see when I line it up, it's going to match that designer series paper. Kind of looks cool that way. All right, so let's just set that aside so we can do some stamping. So I have two things to stamp. I'm gonna be using Berry Burst ink, and I'm gonna be using that for the sentiment. May this season of sparkle bring joy and delight. And that's going to go right on this tag. Just centered like that. I'm going to set that aside. That's all I need this ink pad for. And then I'm going to be using Garden Green. And Garden Green is um, the color in the designer series paper. So, just as a reminder, as I'm stamping, make sure you say hello in the comments. Tell me where you're watching from. So I'm gonna ink this up and I'm gonna to try to get as much of this onto my deckled cut rectangle. So that is what it looks like. I'm done with this stamp and the ink pad, so we'll move it out of the way. And this is when I'm going to take my um, pieces here and I'm just going to kind of punch some out to get started with I went stamping with a friend and packed up my stuff and haven't unpacked it and I think that's where my um, take your pick tool is Okay, those will be our starters. So what I'm going to do is that, that the berries have stamped, but they've stamped in the in the green ink. And so what I'm going to do is take a dot of my mono adhesive. Let me just make sure it's not clogged. The um, mono liquid glue. I put it in these little containers that I get at Amazon. 
and it allows me, maybe, let me just make sure it's not worked just a while ago today, but I think it might have got clogged up. Okay, we should be good now. I'm just going to put a little dot. Whoops, not that big, but it will dry clear, so I'm not worried. So I'm just going to put a little dot on each of the berries, and then I am going to be putting one of the sparkle paper berries on top of it. It's okay if the ink start if the glue starts to dry. It is still sticky, so you have plenty of time. That's why I ink them all up at the same time. And I'm just going to take this tool and I'm just going to start putting the berries over the punched berries over the stamped berries. Now, if I was going to make 50 of these cards for Christmas, I can tell you right now that I would not be doing this particular card design because it would take forever with these berries. What I would probably do is use my marker and I would color, I would color the green with the garden green marker and I would color the berries with the berry burst marker and then stamp, and it would come out with those two different colors. But since I'm just making one card tonight, I thought this would be a fun way to do the berries and add a little sparkle to my card and to the front of my card. I do like the effect it has on it. I was going to use, I was going to do the color of the cardstock and have some blueberries, but um, they didn't show up as well as, of course, the raspberry ones. So I just have a few more to do. Well, in the Northeast, we are supposed to have a good weekend, hopefully. I go back to school next Friday, so this is my last week of summer, but I'm gonna have to definitely get into my classroom and do some work this week. Okay, just three more berries, and then we're good to go. Okay, one more. Okay, so that is what it looks like. I'm going to do a little wiggly and wobbling for you. All right, so we're going to add that to our piece of Misty Moonlight. I'm just going to center that on. There we go. And I am going to put this right across the lower part of the card. So I'm only going to put my adhesive about halfway over. And I'm going to put this actually on first. So I want to layer this so that it's centered on the card. So I don't want 
um, to have it over so far. I want it actually centered on the card. And so I'm going to add my adhesive to one side and then put it down. And then I can add this so that it goes over to the edge of this piece of cardstock. All right, so. Isn't that funny that I've lost my gems? Well, I'll show you in the, I got them out. It's so funny, I can't believe I've misplaced them. I must have picked them up when I went out of the room and walked away with them. All right, so as I showed you here, I added three gems that were the berry burst gems from the, um, this is the um, three tinsel three pack. I used the tinsel four pack and that's where the gems came from. Um, so I'm sorry I've misplaced them so I can't show them to you. But that's what the card looks like with it all said and done. And so when you open it up, you've got a place to put your gift card and a place to write your greeting. And this was a super easy um, card to do tonight. So I hope you enjoyed our Simply um, our Fun Fold Friday. Please join me Sunday night for Simply Stamping Sunday. And we are still using the layering leaves set for the month of August. And I hope you join me next Friday on Fun Fold Friday at 6 p.m. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.